Thunder, and today I'm going to be unboxing and setting up Candy Cream. <laughs> after sale but he sold so I just got him online um, and he is so cool here's his graphic on the front you've probably seen this guy he's got the mallet behind his back and then he has candy trying to lure the children in it's a super cool design a pretty original prop too uh, and yeah it's, it's a really really creepy one uh, and also what I like about him is he's not necessarily a clown but he can go in a clown theme, which is what my theme is. So he'll be perfect for our haunt. So kind of just open this tape here. That's actually most of it. And yeah, their, their boxes are really cool. I love the Expo boxes. They've got like super simple, yet really cool design. All right, opening it up inside the box, see a lot of stuff. Um, so let me tilt this towards you what we get inside the box. Looks pretty, pretty cool. Let's take out this hand. Looks like this is one of the first things. He's got some greatly detailed hands. The blood on it looks really real, actually. That's pretty cool. Looks awesome. Really cool and detailed. So that's the one that holds the mallet, I'm pretty sure. Because the other one, pretty sure, yeah, is attached to the lollipop already. And I really love the look of these lollipops. So I'm super excited about this. Um, it looks great. There it is. So here's the hand holding it. Uh, looks pretty cool. All right, next up, let's get that mallet out. I really wanna see what that looks like. We've got some foam covering it. But right here, here this is. And it's actually separate from the hand, which I love because you could use it for Halloween. Look at that thing. That thing looks so cool. It's actually pretty big too. Here it is. Looks awesome, got the blood on the front. Super cool. Um, he's got a huge mech in here, which I'm not gonna try picking out with yet because it's pretty covered up. Here's his clothing, looks great. Got the normal SBI shoes. He is made by SBI, they make most of the clowns. Here is his step pad. Step pads are included with all of the extra props, which I love. Um, here's his instructions, black and white, which I've seen SBI do a lot of black and white. A lot of the other companies are starting with the color. Adapter box. Um, the poles look like they're zip tied down. And there's actually a ton of cardboard in here, kind of keeping everything secure. Oh, <laughs> I threw that out. Oh, let's see. Let's see if we can get the head. The head looks like it's pretty free in here. There it is. His head looks great. Let's try taking this out of the plastic. Got the satisfying plastic here. Take that out, kind of just rip that out. And then the head should come straight out of this bag. Looks awesome. Luckily this one is not deformed. I haven't seen many um, deformed ones, but still super cool looking. Looks great. He's got an awesome head mold. Super creepy. Also, the mouth movement is great on this guy. He's got a really violent uh, mouth, and its movement is like really big, uh, which is kind of what they give in peekaboo, and I really like it. Oh, uh, let's see. Don't know if this, oh, it did. This is his main mech. There's actually two separate mechs, I'm pretty sure. One for the turning, one for the mallet. And then also the head one, yeah, the head one runs off of the same mech as the mallet. But here is his arched over body. It's not actually too heavy, which is good, but it does seem pretty secure, which is always nice. So let's carefully put that on the side there. Always gotta be careful with the mechs. So more 
cardboard. Um, and then I'm pretty sure the rest of this looks zip tied. Um, this actually, this is all just zip tied together. It's not actually zip tied to the box. Not really sure where my, whoa, that was loud, where my scissors went. So, I'll have to try to find those. But, I am going to cut here because zip ties, there's a lot of them and they take a while. So, once I cut all these zip ties, I'm going to lay out all the parts so you guys can see what he's made out of. Alright, be right back. Okay, so here are all of your parts out of the box. Starting over here with the giant base. Here is the head. There is the hammer or mallet. Here are the right and left arms. One with the candy and the other one holding the mallet. Two pieces of foam for the legs. Step here, optional pad. Clothing in the bag. That's the pants, the shirt, and the undershirt. Turning mech, instructions, adapter, hip loop, two SVI shoes. Here are two leg pulls and the main mech. And then there's the box. Uh, yeah, so those are all of his parts. Looks pretty simple. Let's go to the setup. Okay, so starting with the base, uh, let's take our two shoes labeled C and these just slide on here. And they've got these little, um, kind of like knobs here, which keep the shoes from turning all the way, which I love. So pretty much the worst they can look is this, which still looks great. Um, instead of the old props, which just didn't have those and they could spin all the way around, um, this makes it much better. Most of the new ones have that. So now let's take our B poles, and these B poles just snap lock into the poles down here, which actually we might need to take the shoe and pull it up for us. So kind of do this and snap lock the poles in. That one can go back down. Take the other B pole. And this is just matching A to B. And then the shoes are C, which just slide off. So click this one in. There we go. There we go. Alright, so that is the completed leg structure. Let's add the foam. The foam is just for um the look, just to make it not too skinny and just make it look more realistic. And then next up is the pants. So the pants are in the back of clothing. So here it is. Let me do this a bit. Here is all the clothing. Let's take it out and I'll actually show you guys what we've got in here. In here, we have a few things. We've got the undershirt here with the tie. Looks great. We have the pants and we've got the main shirt, which looks great. And it's a bit more vibrant on camera but it does look really cool. All right, let's take the pants here, label the E, and put these on. So, kind of take them out. These look pretty cool. I love the blood stains. So, we just slide one. They're kind of like jeans, actually. They're pretty good quality. Uh, we just slide one leg, and then the other can go now. And then this is pretty normal. You just slide the clothing on. And then you can adjust it how you want. Because we got to make sure this guy looks awesome. There's one. There's two. And then make sure to reveal those poles. So we can attach the next piece. Which is the turning mech. Now the turning mech, I'm not sure which way it goes. But I'm guessing this giant plastic part is in the back. I'm not sure. But I'm guessing that's what it is. Yep, it is. All right. So this goes like this. And kind of snap lock this piece in there. Perfect. And this is going to connect to the control box, which is up in the main mech. Pretty sturdy. Let's add the hip loop now. The hip loop, I've heard, you actually need to adjust a lot. Wrong way. Um, usually they do this where one side is smaller. Kind of, yeah, you kind of have to bend that and push it in. And actually, it seems like this is getting stuck here. Looks like this plastic uh, covering kind of got stuck on it, but looks all good. All right, so now we take the pants and kind of do what you do with most of these props and take it over the hip loop to make sure it looks 
perfect. And then adjust down here to make sure it's not too skinny or too thin or anything like that. Um, but yeah, that looks really cool. So let's move the camera up for this next part because now we are adding that main torso piece, the main mech. So let's do that. All right, main mech piece goes on next. Let's actually flip over the instructions because now we need the other side. These are actually some pretty big instructions for this little prop. It's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, so next is that main mech piece. There we go. This just snap locks in here. And I'm guessing this guy is very front heavy, even though this piece isn't as heavy as I expected. It is still pretty heavy for um, those little legs. He's actually really tall. He's already taller than me with this uh, spine piece. He's pretty, pretty big. Um, bigger than I remember in the store for sure. All right, next up, I'm pretty sure is the shirt. Looks like, oh, they want us to connect the control box, which you really don't need to do yet. Um, let's do the shirt next. So the shirt is labeled I, and drop the sticker. Let's see what this thing looks like. This shirt looks pretty cool. Look at that, that is awesome. The design of these, this guy, even though I do not like Mr. Happy, which is the second version of this guy, um, I really love the clothing designs on both of them because they just did really, really well with this clothing design. Let's try to get this over it. Come on. So close. There we go. All right. So we got to leave this kind of open because that is where the head goes. And then also you've got this sensor right here. And this should go somewhere on this shirt. Uh, don't see it yet, but it does go somewhere on here. Maybe on the tie. So let's take this. Let's already kind of just get this ready because we don't want this flopping around too much when we're putting in the arms and stuff like that. So it's got a ton of these Velcros, which is normal. This is just like most of these Expo props this year. And these just Velcro all the way up. Kind of gets tighter up here. But yeah, that should be about it because the rest is the undershirt, which is covering the rest of this guy. All right, that looks great. Next up is the arms. So the arm over here is the one holding the lollipop. So we gotta kind of slide this up the sleeve. And here, let me make sure the camera looks good. All right, looks pretty good. Let's slide this up the sleeve. Um, and this just has the normal two prongs and slides into the shoulder frame slide this all the way up the arm. And these these uh, hands are way detailed. They're much more detailed than I remember seeing. And an easy way to do this I found is coming back in here and instead of trying to roll up the sleeve and stuff like that, which is much harder, you just connect it from in here, which you just do by reaching in the shirt, finding it right here, looks pretty good and slide it in. And then we can adjust the clothing here. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks good. All right, there is the first arm. This lollipop is actually raised up a lot. Looks like it's not pushed in all the way, but that's fine. Still looks great. Let me raise this up so you can see that lollipop up there. All right, and then actually, let's actually keep the camera raised up for now because the mallet looks like it's probably above his head. At least that's what it was like in store. So let's see if that happens. And a lot of people have been talking about the hand uh, looking weird. That's what I thought at first, but it is actually pretty normal because it's like this. And if you have your arm, it's gonna be like this, which really doesn't look too bad because he's holding the hammer like that. And it really does not look too bad. Um, 
And once you see it in person, it's really not noticeable because you're really just paying attention to the size of this guy and how super creepy he is. Slide this up and I'm gonna do that same strategy where I just go in uh, through the shirt and adjust it from there. All right, let this hang. Then we come in here, grab this, and then this has to go back behind his back, like that. And yes, this definitely looks like the mallet is going to be above his head. And the cool thing about this guy is he has arm movement. His mallet hand actually moves back and forth behind his back, uh, which is pretty cool. I like that. And they kind of had to do that so his price... Uh, is worth it because he has the same, I'm pretty sure he has the same price as Mr. Happy who has the girl moving around behind him. So they wanted to equal it out with a separate movement back there. All right, so let's put the mallet in. The mallet actually, you can adjust the height because it's got this ring and this ring is not secured in place. You can actually move it up and down the mallet. I want to keep it about right here because this is actually a really good height, but this is definitely above his head for sure. It looks great up there. Um, yeah, there, that is where it is, looks great. Make sure you guys can see that. Awesome. So yeah, that looks super, super cool so far. Let's attach the, let's see, is it the head or the undershirt? Looks like the head goes first. So the head has the same two prongs and take these cords out. Don't want those getting messed up. And this head just plops in place in here. And I want to make sure the cords go down his shirt first, like that, because those cords are important for later. All right, that clicks in. And a lot of the ones I've seen do not look good up here. Like the one in store that I saw actually looked pretty bad up here. So you're going to definitely want to um, make this clothing perfect. Uh, and right now we really can't do that because what makes this perfect is the undershirt, which is right here. So this undershirt, this is the normal SBI undershirt where it's just this tiny little bit, um, but it still looks good. And like I said earlier, that is actually where the sensor hole is. All right, so this goes around his neck and it should have some more Velcros inside of it. Looks like actually there might be a Velcro back here. There is, so this Velcros to itself, but also Velcros to the head to give it extra support because you really don't want this falling off because this is kind of what makes it look real. And then we have to stuff this under the shirt. So this whole piece gets stuffed under and there should be some Velcro. Yes, there is. And this Velcro, Velcro somewhere on the main shirt. And actually does the tie hang down? No, it does not. I think the tie hanging down might not look bad. So I'll see what I like later, but for now we're gonna just do this, like the box. But there it is. Let's definitely connect the sensor if I can find that. But that looks pretty good. So that is his main look right there. Let me actually take this out of the tripod and show you guys what he looks like. Here it is, looks great. Now I just need to fix up his clothing and get him wired up but yeah that is candy creep so i'm gonna wire him up fix up that clothing and then we'll do the demo so here we go all right i've got him fully wired up and ready to go so i have him on sensor mode and here he is trick or treat my little dearie i have the one thing that all children want <laughs> All the candy their mean parents refuse to give them. Just come a little closer. Close your eyes and you get a big surprise. Sounds good, right? <laughs> he is so cool. Do a few more phrases. I have what you want. Come fill your piggy face with dreams. You don't want to. And he looks much better in person. Like his eyes look great. 
So there is Candy Creep. Like I said, you can get him on HalloweenExpress.com or a few other places sell him. Uh, he's an expo prop, so yeah, some spirits had him, but that was just a few select stores. Uh, but yeah, I definitely recommend him. Now is the time to get him because he is 45% uh, off on Halloween Express. Uh, and he is just such a cool prop. He has got great motion and just a great concept with that hammer behind his back. Uh, such a cool look. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I think he's a great prop. Definitely recommend him. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.